A U.S. senator and a former New York mayor are joining the fight against e-cigarettes. Vaping has been linked to at least six deaths in the U.S. and hundreds more cases of severe illness. Uh, Michael Bloomberg's pledged $160 million to ban flavoured e-cigarettes through Bloomberg Philanthropies. And in an article for CNN, the U.S. Senator Dick Durbin says, vaping is an epidemic and a danger to children. Tobacco companies are using e-cigarettes to get them addicted early. Kingsley Wheaton is the chief marketing officer of British American Tobacco. He joins me now. Good to see you. Thank, Thank you, Richard. Thanks for having me. I assume you don't agree with the learned senator. Well, you know, we've been for a long time now uh, embarked on a journey to invest in and deliver uh, new uh, alternative tobacco and nicotine products that consumers can enjoy and move consumers from smoking to these alternative products. I think it's very important that they're responsibly marketed and responsibly stewarded, but no, I don't agree with them. Every article I've read suggests that these vaping devices are a more efficient m delivery mechanism for nicotine and therefore no longer is the combustion the problem, but nicotine addiction per se is. Well, I think you're weighing up there two different alternatives to health policy. I think the old world was about quit or die. You know, people shouldn't smoke, and we would argue that, and the alternative is to quit. These products are about giving consumers alternative ways, with nicotine as well, because that's important, to enjoy these with less health risks to themselves. Except we don't know the full range of health issues as a result of vaping. And the early evidence is suggesting that it's worse than we thought. Epidemic levels. I, I don't think that's the case. Um, I could quote you in the UK, Public Health England, vaping is probably 95% safer than smoking. Royal College of Physicians, the same thing. Even Action on Smoking and Health, ASH, will say if you're unable to quit, you would be better to vape than to smoke. I, I see that, but... Are you not at serious risk of just substituting one health issue for another? Because the number of cases... You know, I mean, the New York Times had a few articles recently of you, zombie teenagers who can't stop vaping. Well, the, the, the recent uh, health concerns that have come out of the US are isolated cases. The FDA is pointing to the use of THC in vapour products and also products that have been tampered with. That's why it's, I think it's really important for consumers that we, have, uh, we responsibly market these products. We have sound regulation. We've invested nearly $4 billion on this journey. We have uh, 130 PhDs across our R&D super hubs. We have 50 toxicologists in Southampton ensuring only the right ingredients get to consumers. But I guess what I'm questioning is whether vaping per se, you can have the right ingredients, you can have the best toxicology, you can have everything exactly as you want, and we still shouldn't be doing it. No, because we're trying to take people who are smoking with the serious risks of health who can't quit and provide alternative product solutions. And it's not just about vaping, if I can add, Richard. Of course. It's also about tobacco heating products, which are becoming very big in parts of North Asia and in Europe, also about a modern take on oral tobacco. We have a portfolio of solutions that supports our transformation. But just as much as the pharma, the opioid pharmaceutical companies could not, and are now cannot just turn a blind eye when being told, hang on, your product's being misused, you can't turn a blind eye when people are to telling you children are starting with vaping. Your argument is cigarettes to vaping, ergo, it's better. But if they're starting with vaping, what then? No, our argument is that these products are for adult consumers only. That is absolutely the cornerstone of our responsible marketing practice. But they're practice. getting into the hands of teenagers and that is an issue. I understand that, but we are doing everything we can to make sure that doesn't happen. We invest heavily in retailer education programmes. We have online age verification. We invest and we're a founder member in a WeCard programme in the US, which is to ensure that consumers are of the right age. This is an issue not just for the industry, but also for government and regulators, and we would welcome the chance in part of our journey to work with them on sensible regulatory frameworks. You know, in our discussion here, I'm very well aware, of course, that what you're selling is a perfectly legal product and you're perfectly entitled to sell it uh, in accordance with the laws of, of any country. But I can hear people throwing things at the screen, saying, well, hang on a second, all they've done is substitute. They saw their income going down from cigarettes and they found this new nifty wheeze to keep people addicted to nicotine. No, I think it's entirely different. This is about the sustainability of our organisation. If you go back ten years ago, 
100% of our business was in cigarettes. Cigarettes that it's well known are, are not good for health if used as intended. And that's something we're very clear about. People should quit. For those that can't quit, we've embarked upon a journey with heavy investment, with a portfolio of products, with better brands, to ensure that for the next generations who are unable to quit smoking, that they have other uh, alternative choices. And we do that in a responsible way. I, I think I know the answer is, but it, if a teenager doesn't smoke, should they start vaping? Yes or no? No, they absolutely should not. And I would not encourage my kids to vape or smoke. But for those people who we would never know whether they would otherwise have smoked. Providing alternatives that's the problem. is an alternative, that is, that's, which is an alternative is, to the quit or die. Good to see you, sir. Thank you, Richard. Thank you very Thank much you very indeed. Much.